Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from DevTactic and the Ionic Academy. Today we will build an Ionic app with some um, uh, dynamic styling. So we already know that we can theme our app using uh, like the colors array or different themes, but uh, we can only switch them before building our app. But what we want to do is uh, building an app where the user can actually toggle like light and day mode on and out. So let's go started and first of all create our two styles. So we will call them uh, theme.light.scss and another file theme.dark.scss. Okay, so those two styles will be eventually applied to our app when the user toggles uh, these modes. So for the light theme, uh, let's implement some very basic stuff. So we want to give the uh, ion content, um, a background color of pure white, and also um, our toolbar. So use that toolbar background, and it will also be white. Um, uh, let's finish the dark theme first. So dark theme. In that case, ion content will be, uh, yeah, um, what was it again? I think like this looked pretty good. Also, um, the header dot toolbar background, okay. And also we use a different border color in case we have a dark background because it's hard to see otherwise. Um, yeah, it's a freaky color. Uh, get over it. So toolbar title it is also a bit dark if we use it like this. So we have to change it to be uh, more white. Um, the thing is here, we need to import those two files to our variables. Um, so uh, why do I even have this open? I don't need it. So um, we need to put an import statement into our variables as CSS and import both the theme.light and of course the theme.dark. And as we are importing both styles, um, we cannot um, use different uh, Ionic utilities or variables inside them because in general they are both imported. Um, so we would override each other and we can only uh, interact with our CSS classes directly uh, inside the dark theme or light theme block. So this is why we're not uh, using like text background or something like this. But anyways, we got our th uh, two themes files and we have imported them. So what we're going to do next is we create a provider. So run ionic g provider and I will call it settings. And this will eventually create a settings provider. And with the current CLI, it should also directly be imported to your providers array. Um, where is it? There. Okay, so most of the stuff we actually don't need. But what we need is uh, something really cool, which is called the behavior subject. And this is directly from rxjs uh, rx. So we will uh, see how to use it. It's um, quite a bit like an observable, but it has some different functions and they will really help us. So inside our settings provider, we will keep a private variable, which is the currently selected theme. And this is of the type behavior subject and string. Okay, okay. Um, inside the constructor, we don't need the HTTP provider. Um, is there something wrong? Uh, behavior subject like this. Sorry for the spelling error. Okay, um, inside the constructor, we want to set our theme to a new behavior subject. And this is, uh, first of all, the first difference to an observable. Because
because a behavior subject can have a start value. So if anybody retrieves our theme, it will directly get this dark theme because it is set to uh, the beginning value. So this is very important. Um, and then we need two functions here. First of all, we want to set the active theme and then of course, you might know it, we want to get the active theme. To set the active theme, we need to change our behavior subject and we want to inform everyone who is subscribed to this subject. And we can do this by using uh, this dot theme dot next. And this will um, submit the value which we pass to next to all of the subscribers of the behavior subject. So all of them will get automatically this update, which is pretty cool and exactly what we need. Now, if we want to get the active theme, we will just return our theme, but we're not returning it as a behavior subject, but as observable. So for outstanding files, it's more or less like an observable. Um, they won't feel any difference, but we will see the difference because we can use next year, we got the start value and we will get all the updates. So let's go to our uh, home TS and first of all, selected theme. Uh, I'm actually not completely sure if we need this. Uh, no, I don't think we need this anymore. Um, but what we need, of course, is the uh, private settings of the type settings provider. And Inside the constructor of our page, we call get active theme, which returns an observable. So we need to subscribe to it. Now, of course, we need this dot selected. Uh, um, oh, yeah. Okay. So I was on the wrong file, but it doesn't matter. Let's comment it out. Sorry. So what we need uh, is to toggle, of course, our app theme. And <laughs> I tricked myself. Okay, so we really need the selected theme here. <laughs> oh, jeez. So we can uh, go back here. Uh, as said, to get the active theme, we get an observable where we can subscribe to. And once we get some value, we set our selected theme to this value. And the cool thing is if our settings provider calls next, um, this block will be triggered again with a new value and our selected theme will be set to the new value. Now, if we want to toggle our app theme, we need to check our selected theme. Uh, if it's equal to dark theme currently. So in that case, we need to set it to the light theme. So we use, Again, our settings provider call set active theme and set it to the light theme. And of course, if it's already a light theme, we go ahead and make it the dark theme. Now our home HTML, uh, perhaps some changes night and day. Um, and here we can say Let's make it to the center and say uh, I shine at night and glow at day. It's a little bit reminds me of Harry Potter. I don't know why. Um, anyways, we need a button to toggle our um, uh, light and day mode. So go ahead, create a button and call the toggle uh, app theme function and inside perhaps we have an icon to the left just like you know it from some apps and this will be the bulb and we say toggle theme now inside our HTML we probably already got uh, yes 
we got our text and we got the function and currently uh, there's not really anything working because we're changing the style but um, we haven't finished the most important step so the idea behind our dynamic styling is that inside the root component which is created here we add the CSS class so let me do this first of all we add the settings here as well so settings provider and of course we also got selected theme here and more or less it's not even more or less it's exactly the same like this so we put it here and we get all the updates and our selected theme is either uh, light theme or dark theme and now we go to our app HTML and add the class to this component the name selected theme so now you see the dark mode is directly applied to our app and for some reason our text is uh, very dark actually uh, where's the problem should it be header dot toolbar title uh, no it should be here right yeah okay so as you can see we got the dark theme our background is dark the border color is this uh, freaky color and the text is white this is white if we now hit toggle our app comes back to the light mode which is white background white toolbar the text uh, just like it is in normal and we can go back and again so now we are dynamically applying this style directly to um, oh, we can inspect it actually um, to the topmost element here oh, let me find it uh, there it is you see the change right here at the root ion nav either the class is dark theme or no the class is light theme so this can change the complete uh, styling for your app at the top level and you can put your light and dark theme here you could of course also uh, keep a manager for different themes you could offer the user multiple themes um, this is just an example but this is how you can implement dynamic styling uh, for your Ionic app, which you can change even at runtime. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you do, of course, make sure to subscribe to my channel and check out the Ionic Academy for uh, more guidance, tutorials, projects, uh, challenges, everything you need to build great Ionic apps. So I hope to see you next time. Stay tuned, have a great day.